All right, this is such a cool story, and I wish more people in Hollywood would just own up. Would just own up to like, uh, yeah, we did something stupid here, and I'm gonna turn it into a meme. Trust me, for someone that knows about being memed all day for doing or saying something stupid, it is refreshing. And a shout out to uh, Ryan at RK Outpost. I saw him talk about this on his live stream, and I was like, this would make a fun, good feel story for once, right? All right, so we've all seen this poster, and we all were like, what the freak is that? What is that? I mean, Chris Pratt looks like a vegan, and uh, it, it just looks bad. I don't know who they had, you know, make this. I don't know what's going on with this, but whatever. Everyone looked at this and went, what the heck? But it was, you know, the person on the end there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were like, what the freak is that? And thank you, Nerdrotics, for blowing up this picture on your Twitter so I could use it for the video. But what the heck is going on with Nebula? What is this pose? Why are there no curves? What is going on here? Who made this? This looks terrible. It looks god awful. And everyone was complaining about it. They're like, how could you do this to Nebula? Because the actor that plays Nebula is quite stunning and quite beautiful. What are you doing, Marvel? What are you doing? Well... This is actually what happened. And this is great. Guardians of the Galaxy 3's Karen Gillan mocks awkward pose on poster. What was I thinking? That's right, she has come out on her TikTok and she made a little video that we're gonna watch as to what the heck happened with that poster. Okay, could anybody out there tell me what I was thinking when I decided to pose like this on an international worldwide poster that will remain for Evermore. I remember doing this pose and thinking, I think I look pretty cool here. <laughs> so I take full responsibility for this choice, but oh my God, what am I leaning against? Why, what is my elbow doing? No, doesn't look good now either, does it? I mean, maybe I should double down and try to make this pose a thing. Maybe I'll do it on a couple of red carpets, see if it takes. It might become like the new, you know, when like men always like check their cufflinks. Maybe Yes, turn it into a meme. That's perfect. Own up to it. Uh, she comes out and says, yeah, I'm the one that did this. And you know what? We're going to see it again. And of course, I had to pause halfway through because of the music, because YouTube, but let's continue. Women will start, probably not. I stared at it for so long. I was like, oh, maybe I'm reaching for, you know, a weapon to like take out and fight someone. And then I remembered that I'm not wearing a holster or anything that would carry a weapon. So it's not that either. You'll be seeing that pose again somewhere when you least expect it. I'm going to bring it back for its return. Anyway, goodbye. I absolutely love it. I love the attitude. I love her heart. I love everything. Like, yeah, we're going to bring it back. We're going to meme it. We hope women start to do it. It's still it still doesn't excuse the entire poster though that somebody actually decided that this was a good idea i mean did they just have the actors line up and just say just pose for us just pose and she decided to stand there the whole time like this you know and they just said uh okay if that's the best you're gonna give us then uh, we'll just use that i mean wouldn't they have like a director there saying we're gonna you know pose this up and something really cool for an international poster or did they just say you're the stars, we don't want no trouble. Just stand around and we'll take your picture. I, I don't know, I don't know, but I am so glad that she owned up to it, that she was like, this looks stupid, I look stupid, what was I thinking? But I'm gonna meme the heck out of it because that's what you do and uh, that's what makes everybody love you even more. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out everything in the description. And don't forget about this. If you didn't know, I have a new graphic novel out. It's my first Indiegogo project called Acromatic Chronicles Blue. And we're getting close to 50K. The support has been unbelievable. And I really hope you enjoy this book. And there are several tiers. You can just get one book. You can get two. Um, you could also donate one to someone that probably can't afford it. Go check it out today the link is in the pinned comment it's also at the top of the description of this video so check it out back it today you won't be disappointed acromatic chronicles blue you're gonna love it